Welcome back to the Fox's Den. I'm Roxanne, and today we are making another three ingredient recipe. This time it's chocolate cake, and it's gluten free. That's right, you heard correctly. It is only three ingredients. Two ways that you can make this. You can put it in two different spring pans, which I'm going to do so I don't have to slice the cake because I, the third ingredient is actually a filling. Or you could put it all in one pan. I'm doing it in two. And I will show you each step of the way and then show you the different variations. The first thing I wanna tell you is that it requires 18 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. So I have some here and I also have some in a pot on my stove. Now, if you are familiar with the Fox's Den and my recipes, you will know that I do not have a microwave. So I'm just heating mine in a pot and I'll show you how that works. You can put it in your microwave and it takes even less time. But first, before we get started, it requires eight eggs. So I've already started to separate them. And I just wanted to show you how I do it. I'm sure some of you were pros in the kitchen, but just in case you're not, this is my theory behind it. This is my eighth egg. So I like to run it through my fingers and hold on to it and then plop it in there. And I always keep it separate because if this one messes up, I can throw it out and I don't contaminate either of them. And then I dump it in. So that was eight eggs. Yes, I know it's messy. You're gonna have to wash your hands and I'm going to do that right now. I've separated eight eggs, yolks and whites. And I put the whites in the bowl cause we're gonna beat those up. And just like always in the description below, I will have all of the ingredients that are needed, but this is like truly super easy. So I'm gonna start with beating these up and turning them into fluffiness. It looks like whipped cream. Okay, looking good. I'm just gonna do it a little bit more. And there you go. And I'm just gonna put these over here to the side. I love my little hand mixer. I think it costs $10, $10, it was wonderful. Okay, so now I'm gonna make sure that the chocolate is melted and I'm gonna take you over to that. So again, it's it's 18 ounces of chocolate. And I, like I said, you could put it in your microwave and melt it in a microwave, you know, safe bowl and keep stirring it. I'm gonna put it directly into a pot. Sometimes people do like water. They put it, make like a water bath and they boil the water with the, another pot on the top. It doesn't even need that. I've tried that before. This works great too. So here it is melting down. I have it on a four. You could turn it up to a five. Constantly stirring. No special pot, just my regular pot that I use is already starting to melt. I will tell you a trick. If you get the mini morsels, they melt even faster. And you just gotta constantly stir. And I will show you what it should look like when it is ready for the egg yolks. As you can see, it's almost there. Okay, it is nice and melted. And now what we're gonna do is let it cool just a tiny bit and start adding the egg yolks. Okay, so here it is in the pot. Smells so good. Since these are simple recipes, you wanna make sure that you really do melt it down. You wanna make sure that you really do whip this up and you wanna make sure you do let this cool just a tiny bit because it's like a chemistry experiment. That's the reason why it works. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the eggs. I'll probably add a little bit more than I should, but it's okay. It's the cooling down part that's important. You really want to incorporate it, mix it up, do a good job of the mixing, put some elbow into it, as Happy Rose and Lexi would say. And I fold it over, and the eggs make it have like this gloss, and if you mix it well, the gloss goes away. And there's the rest. Next, what we're gonna do is incorporate it into the egg whites. We're gonna fold it and fold it and fold it. And then I will show you how you can prepare the pan, or pans in my case. All right, to the egg whites, I'm gonna add a little bit of chocolate. Some people do it the opposite way, where they add the um, egg white to the chocolate. I'm doing it this way. Why? I feel like it worked better for me. 
always reminds me of like a fudge. This cake is dense, but it's so good and it's gluten free. Only two ingredients so far. Now for you, the third ingredient, if you like strictly chocolate, could just be some vanilla. Okay, so I'm folding it in. I'm gonna add more chocolate. And then I will show you what it looks like before we put it in the pan. Don't be afraid that the egg whites will deflate. It's okay. It all works out. It's not a souffle. It works out. You really have to incorporate that chocolate, otherwise it becomes like a lump. It's incorporated. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm going to put it in. I have two spring pans, they are nine inch. Um, it works really nice with a six inch pan. I happen to have a six inch pan from my mom and her cooking and baking days. I know that is not easy to find, like a cake pan that's six inches and it makes it nice and high. Um, this is not a very high cake, like I said. It's a little on the dense side. There's no baking powder or anything that you add to it. So I put it in two and it's very easy to remove because I like to layer it. But if you don't want to, you could put it in one but I'm going to layer mine. All right, so I'm going to put them in here and we are ready to bake. The oven has been preheated to 325 and it's gonna bake for 30 minutes, depending upon where you live and depending upon your oven. Sometimes when I bake at my sister's, I make it more like 25 minutes. You're gonna to have to keep an eye on it when you first try it out. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, here we go. Just eyeball it up, half and half. you get all of it in there because it's so good as you can see I already flipped one out so it's baked and it's still warm and I took an eighth cup of strawberry preserves I've also used raspberry you can use orange because chocolate and orange is delicious or you could just like I said leave the cake you know thick and pour ganache or, or powdered sugar over it. But my third ingredient, because all we have is chocolate and egg so far, is strawberry preserves. And while it was still warm, I put an eighth cup, there's still a little bit left in here, right on there. And I just moved it all around. I have nothing fancy here, just a butter knife, and swirled it all over and it starts to melt into it. And chocolate and strawberry, oh my goodness, this is so good. And Moved it all around. You could put a caramel sauce. Ooh, that would be good. They make such good caramel sauce, especially when you go to Whole Foods. They have all this goodness in a jar. All right, so I have that there, and then I'm just gonna take that and flip that on top. My little cake dish here. Now you can see it's not very thick at all. It's like a brownie looking almost. Line it up, put it right on, it comes right off. I'm actually gonna move it over a little. Now I have just put powdered sugar on the top after it, it's not no longer warm, but I also made that three ingredient vanilla ice cream. Oh my goodness. Serving that on the side with a slice of this is amazing. But what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put it over the top of it. I told you it was extra, extra. The ganache. Now the ganache I've made before and it really is only two ingredients and those two ingredients are chocolate and you melt it down and heavy cream, heavy whipping cream. What you need to remember is this, the higher the quality of the chocolate, the higher the quality of the whipping cream, the better it tastes. But even if it's not high quality, when I say high quality, they make this delicious organic cream that comes in glass bottles. You've seen me use it when I made the ice cream. To me, that's high quality, it's delicious. Chocolate, use a good name brand if you want. Or not, it's up to you because even when you don't use the super high quality, it still is so delicious. So here's the thing. If you're going to use four ounces of cream and you allow it to get warm, then you're gonna use four ounces of chocolate. If you're using eight ounces of cream, then you're using eight ounces of chocolate. For this cake, four ounces of chocolate and four ounces of cream is plenty. It drips off the side and everything. I'm not going to allow it to drip to the side. I'm just gonna keep it directly here. I'm not showing you how to make that because it is in one of our recipes already. It's in the recipe that says cooking for Harry Styles and it's when we make the icebox cake with the banana and the chocolate. 
check that out. It's the same exact recipe, but again, for a cake this size, I would have only used about three ounces of cream and three ounces of chocolate. Okay, I'll show you how that looks in one minute. Here it is. I put a ganache on the top, it's cooled. I put some chocolate covered strawberries I made too, so this is very extra, extra. But it does not have to be because it is quite a rich cake. It's very delicious, it's gluten free, it's not low in calories, I'm sorry about that. Thank you for tuning into the Fox's Den. If you would like to see more recipes like this, please comment below. I did have a request for three ingredient dinner meals and they are coming, I promise. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Have a good evening. We look forward to hearing your stories. Don't forget, you can send them to www.fromthefoxesden.com. Thank you.